Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ronan Tame HD. So yeah, this is going to be a great time. Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ronan Tame HD. And this week we watched The Marvels. This film is starring Brie Larson, Sam Jackson, and uh, this is the newest installment in the MCU franchise. Ooh-wee. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go right off the bat. I found this film very boring, very dull, unfunny, and I overall just found it a very dreadful experience. And uh, I definitely would not recommend it. But overall, the film was just very dull, and I d it was too straightforward. And before I go on a whole tangent about how I didn't really like this film, uh, I'll explain why and more back at the house. You are not the only thing standing between this and the universe. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back to an episode of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ryan HD, and this week we watched The Marvels, starring Brie Larson and Sam Jackson. Uh, this is the newest film in the ever-expanding Marvel Cinematic Universe, and probably one of the most boring, dull, and uninteresting films I have seen all year. And when I say that, I mean it. I really mean it. Because this film just... God, like... Overall, I did not enjoy this film at all. I don't think... There was one thing I enjoyed about the, enjoyed about the film slightly. Not gonna say what it is. But I'll say it later. But I'll get to it. But overall, everything about the film was... And even the thing I liked... Like, didn't even really have much to do with the film anyway. But, um, yeah. Okay, so where do I start? Okay, so the story was just so uninteresting. And so straightforward. There was no twist. There was no... There was, like, no reveal. There was no revelation. There was nothing. There was nothing to, like, talk about or speculate or think about. The film was just... Here are the goodies. Here is the baddie. The goodies fight the baddie. The baddie get away. They fight the baddie again. The baddie explode. And then goody wins. Good day. Final day. Yes. Good watch movie. Consume. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Just, I don't. So, like, I'm struggling to find words. So, essentially, the story is Miss Marvel from the Miss from the uh, Miss Marvel TV show. If you didn't watch that, uh, Kamala Khan, she's like, I don't know what her powers are. They didn't. I mean, they explained it, but I, I don't remember. Um, I didn't watch the show. I probably never will. But yeah, she's from the Miss Marvel TV show. Then there's the Captain Rambo. Captain Marvel, then there's the Brie Larson Captain Marvel, and they're like, the three of them, so basically, the whole gimmick of this movie is that there's a big bad guy, big bad guy, um, by the name of, I can't do this, I can't do this, it was, De, the Lark, Der, the, Darius, Darid, Darark, that I something with a D and a R, something like that. I don't I don't remember her name. Um, basically, like she is a big baddie, B big baddie, big big villain, big bad guy. So yeah, so I think that really just explains how uninspired a villain was, and I can't even remember their name. If there's a character that you should remember the name of, it, it one character should probably be the villain, but nope, it was Darlick or whatever the fuck her name was. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah, her backstory is essentially, I was a random schmuck in a battle that Captain Marvel had, and I was just an asshole who got crushed by rocks. And then I became, like, the leader of the Kree somehow? They never explained how she got to power. So she's just in power. She leads the Kree. Um... The, I thought the Kree and the Skrulls, like, they had a peace treaty in Captain Marvel, I th or, like, one of the movies, I thought. But in this movie, they're just like, oh, no. It, it, it went through. 
What a great explanation. Thanks for not even... Like, I remember there were, like, flashbacks from the first movie, and I was like, oh, yeah, that happened. But then I was like, oh, wait, what are these scenes? I don't remember any of this, <laughs> right? Like, there was one... I, I don't know. Like, the film was... Both films are unforgettable, unfor mind you. Like, both Captain Marvel and this movie were very forgettable. And right now, I'm struggling to even remember a lot of the story beats that this film had. And by story beats, I mean, here is a location for our characters to go. And here is a location for them to fight a bad guy or get in a fight scene. And here's a scene for goofy, wacky humor. Cut to Nick Fury and his wagtag group of cats. And then back that's the formula of this movie right that's just cut to nick fury back to our characters our characters at a random location for no reason they're doing something they fight the baddie baddie gets away until the end of the movie so basically and then like most hijinks fell out most of this movie are hijinks and jokes which I will tell you were not very funny, at least to me, as comedy is subjective, but uh, it is not, uh, to me, subjectively, it is not very good. But, uh, yeah, overall, uh, that is kind of the story aspect. Not much, not much to write home about. As I said, super straightforward, super boring, bland, and kind of just not even exhilarating to watch. And let's get into another thing I had a problem with, which is the action. Now, I get we have the gimmick of the characters. You know, the characters they have. Like, if they use their powers simultaneously at the same time, they'll switch places, right? And if it's all three of them, they'll all switch each other in random places, which is interesting. But I think, like, it just... All the fight scenes are so uninteresting like with the like the whole movie the fight scenes are so uninteresting they're so just like i mentioned this while i was watching the movie and i was like you know for a fight scene to be good it can't just be the fight right you can't just have a flashy fight scene for the sake of a flashy fight scene unless the flashy fight scene is intentionally like ridiculous or funny then that's a purpose right that's drama to the fight it adds a bit of story there right and there was drama in here but like not by much like i think the thing is you have to care about it right if something's funny and it's actually funny then you care about it because you're laughing at it but this movie all the fight scenes were dull boring and uninteresting because the drama that they added to the fight was for a story that meant nothing like this story meant absolutely nothing the villain had no presence. The villain was so... Probably one of the worst villains in MCU history. Which is probably going to be a trend. And it's like... I don't know. I just... I was... As the movie was going on, I was begging in my head. I was like, please, please end. Please end. Please almost be over. That's not a good sign, Right? If I'm begging for your movie to be over, that is not a good thing. Yeah, it's just whatever. And I guess now you might be saying, well, Ronan, you mentioned there was a good thing you liked about the movie. What was that good thing? And I'll tell you. I'll tell you what that good thing was. It was an end credit scene. And by the way, before I mention this, is the only time I'm going to mention it. Spoiler warning. If you even give a modicum of a shit about spoilers for the Marvels, then I'd recommend you go watch it and then come back. You've been warned. So, three, two, one. Yeah, so essentially, in the end credit scene, there's only one. In the end credit scene, they basically tease the X-Men. Cool. The X-Men are here. Uh, I would have liked it for you to tease them in a movie that people actually gave a shit about. Um... So, have an end credit scene that actually, you know, have this end credit scene in something that people are going to watch. But, yeah. In DZ X-Men, they show Beast, which is cool. Um, I'm not going to say the whole scene. I'm just basically saying they tease the X-Men, which, cool. X-Men. 
But can the X-Men save the MCU? I honestly don't even know at this point. Uh, I, of course, love the X-Men. Uh, quite, I, I like quite a few of the Fox X-Men movies. Some of them are better than others, for sure. But I do like a lot of them. Um, but I'm not sure if the X-Men can really save the MCU in its current state. It really depends on how they treat them. Right? It really depends on how they treat them. But overall, right now I'm cautiously anticipating the arrival of the X-Men. But yeah, that's the one thing I liked, and it was the end credit scene. Nothing to actually do with the movie, it was just an end credit teaser, which kind of shows you the quality. So now that I've said all these things, would I recommend it? The fuck do you think? No, I would not. And I apologize for saying that to you. I appreciate you. Appreciate for being a little... Uh, I don't... I apologize for being antagonistic, but yeah. What do you think? No, I do not recommend this film. Under any circumstances, to be completely, perfectly honest with you. Because, honestly, this film just wasn't enjoyable. I can't really find anybody... I mean, if you like it, completely okay with you liking it. But, in my personal opinion, if you haven't seen this movie, <laughs> I'd just watch something else. Maybe wait for another movie to come out next week, or something like that. But yeah, with all that being said, I believe I'd rate this film about like a 3.5 out of 10. That might sound harsh, but honestly, I don't think I should have rated it any higher. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think I said my piece. I think that's what I need to say. So guys, hope you like this video. Share with friends, subscribe, to notifications on. Comment down below how much you liked it. But you guys know how it goes. I didn't really mean to say that. What I really meant to say was if you guys hated this video, unsubscribe, dislike, tell me how much hate me in the comments. I've been Runtime HD, marveling off. They said it'd be marvelous, but it wasn't. You lied to me. And overall, I just, I feel betrayed. I feel conned, I feel bamboozled, hoodwinked, run amok, led astray. And overall, just down in the dirt. I can't believe you've done this. Goodbye.